Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Monday the 22nd of July. Please remember that uh, that doesn't mean that's going to happen today. You could have already gone through this. You could be going through it or it could be coming in for you. We're all on different places in our timeline. Just take what fits, leave what don't and have fun with it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd much appreciate you joining me on my journey. For those of you who already have, thank you for your support. And... I thought I, I thought I flipped a card in there. Sorry. Oh, for those of you who have ordered a reading from July 11th forward, you will receive your reading today. Um, they are all done, and up, they're currently uploading. Because um, I live in the middle of nowhere, and my upload speed is pretty slow. So if you haven't received it, you will receive it yet today. Thank you for your patience while I was in the hospital. Uh I greatly appreciate your patience. You have no idea. So, okay. Whew. Water science, what do we got going on here? All right. Beautiful energy, actually. Well, for some, for some, for you guys, I do believe, I believe the person, you could be you could be breaking some hearts here, water sign. Your guys' is shared energy. You're at a distance from somebody that you really want to be with. Could be a fire sign or an earth sign, heavy Aries here, or uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius, Leo as well. Um, this is your ships coming in. This is this is spirit source. They are making sure your ships are coming to shore. I also feel you've been waiting here an awful long time for this to come to fruition, water signs. Somebody was keeping you in the dark. Um, not telling you what exactly was going on, not telling you when they were coming, what they were doing. Um, but they're just going to show up and be like, I'm here. Let's go. Let's take this leap of faith. I'm ready. Um, it's going to surprise the shit out of you, but it's going to be a happy surprise. Like I said, somebody is reaching out, whether that's you, um, water signs, or um, somebody reaching out to you. Once again, Sagittarius there with the Eight of Wands. Um, what's this communication about? Oh, goodness. Well, hello. Man, I'm like, soulmate and twin flame energy is heavy today. Look at that. My two spiritual cards, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, going within, listening to their soul, healing their soul. Seven of Cups for me is a life partner who you're truly meant to be with. So you are hearing from somebody you are at a distance with. At one point in time, ghosted you. <clears throat> excuse me, leaving you out in the cold, cutting off communication from you, leaving you confused and heartbroken and having a need to go in and find your soul again, having to go in and find that star of, so you could just function again. This person really rattled your cage when they did this to you because you were so confused. You didn't understand why things were flowing good. And all of a sudden, bam, they were gone. Um, but this confusion uh, created the need for you to go within, find that healing light. And when you did, the confusion is subsiding. You're seeing what this is all about, finding that healing balance, that beautiful energy of your emotional, um, your emotions and your, your thoughts, your feelings balancing out perfectly, preparing for a union. This is also, however, water sign to please remain patient. It's not ready yet. They're still needing a little bit of work. Um, they could be focusing a lot on their finances um, or they're ending a third party. Yep, they're they're cutting themselves out of a different situation to bring the third party down to two. Um, going through this transformation as well. Huge spiritual rebirth. Yep. When I said that, oops, the Ace of Swords is on the bottom. Huge awakening for this person. Huge transformation. Getting ready to fly the coop and live in their truth. They also had to go within in this hermit and figure out this confusion. They were also very confused about what this connection was. When the two of you came together, it just like, they had no idea what happened. What's coming in for the two of you is a new opportunity, a huge, beautiful blessing um, from the universe. 
this is going to be a financial opportunity as well as an abundant opportunity within you know all areas of your life um especially in love and work why is the ace of pentacles for what's coming in thank you yeah especially in love and work not only are you the divine masculine or feminine um but you are also taking back control of your life getting a company off the ground this is an opportunity to start a new company to start a new job somewhere where you're going to be the boss be in power it could be a government official um a judge a, a police officer um a lawyer somebody who's uh within the the government or somebody that's creating their own company this is just having your shit together and being very very well um rewarded for that taking back control of your life stepping up the game bringing up your own energy to be able to give all and get all um and it's going to bring back in your empress here um, and with this door of opportunity or by you water signs getting back control of your life and taking this energy it's going to bring your soulmate or twin back to you with that um, ace of pentacles the universe bringing them back spirits advice however is to let things end that are meant to end with that queen of swords it needs to happen bottom of the deck is the moon secrets are coming out yep Spirit's advice is to allow the foundation that you have built your life on that is on shaky ground to come to come down so you can build on something real to allow this divorce um, to happen so the two of you can go your separate ways and begin building the foundation that you're both meant to be with with somebody else with different people. This will come out very fair and balanced and karmically you will be um you will have all your debts paid your karmic uh lessons will be learned and that's why you'll be able to step up in that power bottom of the deck the ace of wands um finding passion and a new passion for life after you shed what needs to be purged because the universe is guiding you illuminating things along the path to allow that tower to come down um, spirit's advice is to let it come down. You know, it's shaky. You know, it's not what is meant. You know, you know, this isn't where you're meant to be. Let it come down water signs and find that balance and justice that, that you deserve, which I do see you doing with the two of swords. You are making this decision or your person is Let's see what the two of swords in reverse is all about the star. There you go. One of you, um, uh, well, both of you will experience this healing the replenishing of your you're just emotionally exhausted water sign you're pouring out all your cups and nobody's giving back into you it's time to make a decision to allow this to come to an end um and um balance out that karma so you can focus on you and find this healing this is also if you're waiting for somebody to make a decision this is your hopes and wishes coming true because it's all happening in divine timing it's all happening at exactly at the time it's meant to and that time is now with this eclipse especially yep here's the time of change dancing with the change allowing it to happen going with the flow and restoring balance back in your life a lot of duality right there why is the star here i could have swore there was another one that flipped yep there it is so the star is bringing in success, happiness, emotional fulfillment, emotional bliss, following your bliss. It's also bringing in success. You'll be well known for whatever it is that the two of you will create with that ace of wands, that passion, new creation, um, ending very successful. The six of wands comes back from war and he knows he didn't even though he went to battle by himself he knows that he couldn't have fought that war alone and that's why he carries the wreath for his divine feminine because while he was off to war she was taking care of everything else she was working on the healing while he was off fighting his own battle trying to get out of his own situation and now that that is coming um while she, while the divine feminine was in this energy healing herself she was also healing the divine masculine. Remember, that can be any sex. Um, it's not masculine and feminine do not mean girl and boy. Um, so put it where it fits. But healing is coming for you. Prayers are being answered. Wishes are coming true. Make sure you're wishing upon that star because it's bringing you success. Some of you could be coming 
be becoming a star, um, becoming very popular, very well known, having a hit business. People flock to you, come to you, bringing in this financial success for you. Jupiter's going retrograde. I'm not sure what date it is, but it's most definitely bringing you water signs as well. You know, not just Sagittarius or fire signs. It's bringing you guys abundance, big time. But you have to balance out your energy and allow yourself to receive so it will come in for you. But this is going to come together very nicely, water signs. When you let go of that other person or they do, um, because it's time for your wishes to come true. And divine timing is here for you. So be in the mode of receiving. Allow yourself to receive it because you got to um, allow it. You got to believe that it's coming in for you. In order to receive, you have to believe. So uh, have faith and know that beautiful opportunities are coming for you. So begin that healing process. Begin moving forward in whatever direction that is for you. Once again, I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. I send you all love and light. And God bless.